my time is finally here. It's finally time to do the top five skits I hate the most. It's been such a hot minute since I've done a video where I just talk about things that I hate. And if I ever did a top five video talking about things I hate the most, number one would be my life. But yeah guys, welcome back to another episode of the Top 5 series where every single Saturday we do an episode based on your guys' votes from the previous episode and there was an overwhelming amount of people that wanted me to do this video. So don't be crying if they hear that you play just so happens to have a skin that I absolutely loathe. And I never used that word before. That just goes to show that I did my research for adjectives that I can use to substitute hate for. But guys, we have to do the second thing I hate the most right behind my life, which is Bring up the voting poll, so if you hate me or hate this video, do it through the voting poll and vote in the top right hand corner for the top 10 best sprays in Overwatch versus the top 5 most underrated skins in Overwatch. You know, I'm always doing top 5 episodes talking about great skins, ugly skins, heroes with the worst skins, but never do I ever bring up skins that are completely underrated, probably because they are underrated, but I want to give them some time in the spotlight. So next week we could probably do that episode or maybe we can stop this me before it grows and do the top 10 best sprays in Overwatch, I'm just saying. But ain't nobody care about next week's episode except for future bro you whack, which he's gonna absolutely dread because what we're here for is to talk about the skins that I'm absolutely repulsed by. But that doesn't mean you're not invited to the opinion party because I want all of you guys to comment down below what skins you dread the most because if I get to do it, then you should be able to freely do it as well. But just a little warning if you haven't read the title yet, uh, this video is gonna have some opinions and sometimes I get flat for being biased in top five videos, especially ones where I talk about things that I hate or I love the most, which is uh, surprising on the least. <laughs> but I didn't want you to be shocked and get your feelings hooked once you see your favorite hero and maybe one of your favorite skins make it on this list, especially when we look at the number five spot because McCree mates, you guys have some of the best skins, but when you look at Vigilante, oh, you just have to agree that it's an eyesore. McCree has two similar skins with two different color palettes, Mystery Man and Vigilante, and like, I see the vision, I S with it, I can appreciate the design direction, but at least in the case of Mystery Man, it makes sense when it comes to the theme because he's hiding away from the cops. That's why he has dark colors so he can hide away in the shadows, he has a mask, and he also has a big turtleneck like he's in a frat of a frat that covers up his mouth. But then when you look at Vigilante, it's completely counterintuitive. When you're looking for Waldo, you're gonna see Vigilante first. But while we're contradicting ourselves, McCree, why don't I give a little factoid about me? Because you might not know that yellow is my favorite color. It should come at no surprise because I'm just a colorful person, but on the inside, I'm dead. So that's why it's my favorite color because it's bright and happy. So you might be thinking, well, bro, you whack. If it's your favorite color, why wouldn't you love Vigilante? Exactly. That's why I also hate the color yellow. Whenever you love something so much, you always find reasons to hate it. Take the color yellow, for example. I hate yellow clothes. I think clothes manufacturers can never get it right because it's too overbearing. Every other color can do it right, but whenever it comes to yellow, it just looks off. And Vigilante McCree is the pinnacle of what not to do with the color yellow. Literally everything else in the world involving the color yellow is fine, but this, this is not okay. Like he legit walked into a shop and be like, yes, I." I want that suit but in yellow and somebody stared at him somebody questioned his sanity and they gave it to him because he had a lot of money but there's a reason why he's a vigilante it's because he stole from his ex-wife because she was leaving him and taking the kids but can you blame her can you blame her for wanting to leave a man that looks like and dresses like this i, I can because i was I was in his shoes, but we're not talking about me. We're talking about Banana Boy over here. I hate it. I, I just hate. It. I hate the silhouette. I hate the color scheme. I just ah. Uh. Oh, it's disgusting, man. Well, that was only the first skin. We still got four more to go. This next skin that I hate, ah, oh, it, it, he looks weird. He doesn't necessarily look bad. Yeah, he does. He, he, he looks weird, and that's why he looks bad. He needs to put his mask on. Young Genji. I, oh. Uh. So Genji's a cool hero. He has some of the most dopest skins of all time, but most of the time, it's because his mask is transformed to look even better, whether it looks like the devil, whether it looks like a lion. You know, there's a lot of cool designs that go into redesign designing his mask, but here they got rid of his coolest part and made him look normal. No, that's not okay. Now maybe it's because I have a fetish for half cyborg and half ninjas and half dudes. 
I'm not gay, I promise. But when you make one of the coolest heroes in Overwatch a young, normal person, he's not cool anymore. And that's what happened with young Genji. They took away his mask, they took away his cyborg legs, and he's just a normal Shimada brother. And Hanzo is already that normal Shimada brother, which funny enough, there is no Hanzo skin on this list, but you would have thought that I wouldn't include young Hanzo, but young Hanzo looks no different than normal Hanzo. Young Genji took all the cool parts away and put him in the stupid outfit. His headband's lame, his outfit looks baggy, he has a green haircut, which again, he went into a barber shop and asked the brother at the counter, hey, make my hair spiky green. They looked in and be like, I, fam, if you got money, and you and you know he's got money. Homie looks like he paid $500 for the fresh new fade just to flex on Instagram. Man's over here pays 50 for a gram thinking he's the next Marley. Homie over here repping a hood in California, meanwhile he's living in Irvine. The young Genji just has to stop, okay? Your hair, whack. Your gear, whack. Your jewelry, whack. His foot stance, whack. The way he talks, whack. The way that he doesn't even like to smile, except for in this picture, whack. Hanzo over here, he sucks just as much as you, my guy. <laughs> but... I I think I've given enough reasons as to why I hate this skin, but for the third skin that I hate the most, I'm gonna be real with you, I just don't have a good reason for why I hate it. I just do, and I'm sure we all have that type of skin, but when I look at Spirit Doomfist, I look at it and I'm like, this, this just ain't it, Chief. Like, y'all might enlighten me on a history lesson that I'm not aware of, but he looks like a tiki totem pole, but like, one that you find at five below. But when you look at Spirit specifically, the color scheme is all over the place. Like, you got some dark reds, and then some dark blues, but then you got some maroons, and then you got some teals for like, like it, it just looks weird. I don't like it. They're not good contrasting colors. I wish people that aren't named Spider-Man would just stop. And Doomfish should be first in line to stopping. Like, why? Why do you look like, you don't have to look like that. What is going on with your headband? What is going on with your face? You kind of look like you're from Crash Bandicoot, but you were cut early on in the game's development. Like, I don't know who designed you, Doomfish. I don't know who allowed you to be a part of this Overwatch world but you need to see yourself out I like I'm not trying to be mean here but nobody invited you to this party <laughs> what sucks though is that when Doomfist was first introduced in the game you either had the choice of spear and avatar or the Tekken skins but at least the Tekken skins make sense I don't like them and in fact I almost went with the Tekken skins as well but of course I was enlightened on those skins so I have a little bit more of appreciation for those skins these I, I don't care for that. I don't like that. I hate them, which is why it's at number three. Like, ah, get out of my life. Well, for the second skin, we got one that I'm sure a large majority of the Overwatch player base has, and especially Reaper players that don't have a lot of Reaper skins. You probably use this skin a lot because it was free for all the collector's editions. But when you give me a poser skin like Blackwatch Reyes, dog, I'm gonna hate it straight out the gate. Reaper has a similar situation to Genji and McCree, where you have so many other options. You got pump. Pumpkin, Lubu, shoot, even Soldier 24 looks better than Blackwatch Race. Your beanie looks stupid. Listen, I used to wear a lot of beanies. I don't know why, because I live in Arizona, so it's not really the smartest thing, but I used to skate a lot, and that was just kind of the look. But I hated these types of beanies. It's like people that wore these beanies didn't want to wear a normal hat to shield their eyes, but they also didn't want to wear a beanie that kept their ears worn. Like, it's so stupid. But then you look at the rest of the outfit, and it's so boring. Nothing's intimidating. Nothing's cool. You look like you're a deadbeat dad with three children that left you and a wife that's doing amazing now She's got a full movie career is starring in a bunch of these films that you're going to and watching because you're just a simp like that But I think the worst part about this skin is the same reason why I hate young Genji is that they removed his mask. That was the coolest part about Reaper. But once you take away the mask, he is nothing. He is a shell of what he used to be. And that's exactly what Blackwatch Reyes is, is the shell of what he used to be. Soldier 24. Like Reyes used to be the guy at Overwatch, but oh, here comes this boy that has a bunch of white privilege to take his spot, Soldier 76, and they casted Reyes off to the side to this Blackwatch division. Yeah, that didn't stay up for too long because he betrayed everybody and went to Talon. Why? Because he was valued a lot more and he got a lot more cooler skins. Even his own subdivision, he wasn't the coolest looking one. So that's why he needs to stay in Talon. 
That's why he needs to stay covering his face with his mask, hiding his insecurities, and that's why he needs to not ever look like this again. But you want to know the skin that I hate the most? It's probably one that you won't ever guess in a million years, but I bring this skin up so many times in skin videos because this is the shining example of what not to do with a legendary skin, and I feel cheated. I feel like I wasted my money buying a loot box to get this skin because this is not deserving of the legendary status. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one skin that I hate the most is Specimen 28. Why do I hate this Winston skin? It looks normal, and that's the problem, is that it looks so similar to his classic skin. But when this got unveiled at the Archives event, it cost 3,000 credits. Why? Like, why does this cost 3,000 credits? Like, why is this skin even in the game? Is it because this is a callback to Winston's golden days back on Horizon Lunar Colony? Okay, then why don't we see any lore of that? Why haven't we seen a comic? Why haven't we seen a cinematic with this skin on Winston? That's my biggest problem, is that there is no reason for the skin to be in the game. Like, you're telling me the test tube looking skin for Winston where Harold Winston probably tested on the boy for hours on hours is something that is worth my 3,000 credits, F out of here, Blizzard. No, no, the skin is awful. His gun looks awful. He just has a few wires going to his head and then you gave his jetpack some fans. I'm not paying 3,000 credits. Well, I did. I don't know if I did. I might have gotten it out of the loot box, but I'm not paying for it again, okay? I hate it. I hate it here. You might hate it here too, which is why I want you to comment down below what skins you hate the most. But guys, I had so much fun making this video, mainly because I just roasted a bunch of skins. I didn't really go into too much detail as to why. I just wanted to flame some of them because I hate them. And funny enough, some of these skins belong to heroes that I love the most, but that doesn't mean I don't hate some of their skins. But guys, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. More Overwatch videos to come and bye.